Currently, I am teaching 7th and 8th grade English at Kingsway Christian School. So I am currently directing music at my church as my job, and that is just such a treat. Um, I was hired at Beaverton Police Department, went through the academy, was there for about three years, and then felt called to Canby, and that's actually where I grew up. So I get to travel around the world and, and talk to people and collect their stories. I get to write their stories. And so when I graduated, a few months I went back to Uganda and took on a church to pass, the church that had been struggling for so much that it needed to be replanted. I was asked one night to uh, fill in for the announcer because his plane was late. And so uh, from then on, for 35 straight years, I announced high school football. And what God's done is he's opened up a door with a church plant and uh, I was already doing an internship with them and now I'm the preaching uh, pastor there. My experience in Multnomah has helped me so much and continues to impact my practice as I help our communities develop in Uganda. In that I know that if the Bible is not the bedrock of what we are doing, then everything else doesn't really matter so much. The ongoing impact that Multnomah has had on my journey was the experience of becoming part of a family. I really expected that I was just going to enroll in this academic institution and that it would, the experience would probably stop at graduation. But what happened is that professors gradually became just friends, uh, classmates just became confidants. My wife just passed away and uh, without that solid, solid, solid foundation in the Word of God, uh, I don't know where I'd be, but today I'm here and the Lord has given me the grace and the strength to go through all these things and yet be a witness for Him in spite of all the difficulties that I've gone through. So one of the things I've loved at Multnomah and the way it's equipped me for my life and my vocation now is that um, just years of just studying the Bible, focusing on specific books, specific genres, um, the languages. So I feel like Multnomah really equipped me to know God's Word and to really make it known. And because of that, to know Jesus and make Him known. We're doing a death investigation and, and a lot of times we'll be working with family and they're, you know, they're upset. And I remember asking the woman if she would like me to request a chaplain. And she told me no. And about 15 minutes later, I asked her again, um, hey, are you sure you don't want me to request a chaplain? And I felt the Holy Spirit just impress on me. You're her chaplain. So it's, it really has afforded me a lot of opportunities, just being able to be, I guess, in tune with what God's saying and also knowing His Word, um, just being encouragement to people in dark places. So all over the world, people come from very different backgrounds and places and, and different mindsets, culturally or just within their own family. Um, and to have a respect for them, to say, you are a child of God and you need God's grace. And, and I think I learned that at Multnomah, both to come up as a posture of submission to God's Word rather than um, standing over it. Here's the advice I'd give the graduates. In Joshua chapter 3, verse 4, tells about the children of Israel going down into the Jordan River and they were given certain instructions to save so many cubits from the ark. And as they went down, they were to keep their eyes on the ark and follow the ark since they've never been that way before. To all the graduates at Multnomah, I would say, keep your eyes fixed upon the Lord since you've never been that way before. The day you graduate is the day you are beginning to actually live out what you have been preparing for. And so we have an opportunity to leave Multnomah and enter into something exciting, even if we don't know what it is, to know that God is going to use our training and our preparation at Multnomah. But outside of these walls of, of this college experience, there are some hard realities in life. I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't have a job lined up. I was complete, I felt like I was completely alone, but God provided. You know, those of you who are graduating right now, I would just say, don't be afraid right now to jump in, to just go with all your heart from Multnomah to the place God called you. It it's can be a little intimidating if you don't have a job lined up right now, but I would encourage you 
to take the next step that God's put in front of you and to trust Him to make provision, to make a way for you to continue to live. So get excited and uh, just dream big and trust God for great and huge things because this is the first step into what God has told you, has called you to do. Don't be afraid right now to take the step God's called you to.